Hi everyone, my name is Raymond Bell, or you can call me Ray. Um, welcome to our very first vlog. Actually, it's just me today. Um, my wife, Tracy, she's still asleep from working a 16-hour work shift at her job at the hospital. So I'm um, starting, what I want to start doing is um, for our clients to kind of get to know, our, know us a little better. And as well as other um, videographer friends and photographer friends and other vendors that are out there in the wedding and event filmmaking business. A little bit about ourselves. Um, I've been doing wedding videography for almost 20 years just as a part-time basis. Um, I've stopped off and on and, and throughout the years and then about and that this was 1997 so 1997 I started just doing it for friends and um, one day, one my friend said, hey, you did a really good job with our wedding. Have you ever thought about doing it as a business? I never gave it a thought. And um, so at that time, uh, my first wife that I was with at the time uh, thought it was a great idea. So my first mother-in-law made us some marketing materials and everything. And um, we actually did a little bit, um, got a little bit of business, but we were charging dirt cheap at the time. But I mean, it got us on the map and I did a little bit of work at the time and it went really well. Um, at that time um, my ex-wife and I we parted ways and then I still did some of the, some videography work uh, mostly solo but at that point then I wanted to go back and get my um, bachelor's degree in college um, and more focused on the broadcasting and TV business world so I decided to get back go back and do that while still doing some freelancing work, uh, wedding-wise, off and on during college. So that actually worked out pretty well. A little bit of extra income here and there. Um, not a whole lot, but it was enough to help me get through. Then, in 2007, I got a call from a client that I worked with in the late 90s and asked me if I'd be willing to shoot their other daughter's wedding. They were happy with the first time I, uh, I shot for them. So I'm like, yeah, sure. So... Um, and at this time, I'm married to my second wife now, and um, we decided to go and shoot it. It was the first one I've shot in three or four years, so I was very, very nervous about it. it. seemed like I did okay. I wasn't happy with some of the shots. I had one issue with one camera because I haven't used the, the gear in a few years, so I uh, made some mistakes in it, but um, the client seemed to be okay with it. They, I didn't hear, hear any complaints about it. And so at that point, my wife and I said, well, let's... Uh, Go get down, go and get a business license. So we did. Got a business license. Got everything legal and everything. And um, at that point, we started upgrading our equipment. Um, went from XL ones from Canon to XL twos, and then um, we had to use some consumer camcorders as well for our basically our back cameras as backups. So uh, that that helped out a lot. We decided to um, we increased our prices a, a little bit at a time. I seen the back some clients off a little bit. We understood that that would be the case. We can't complain. Uh, we had some really, 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 really good clients. During that time between 2007 and 2011, I went to several conferences, uh, both times in Orlando. I did a training seminar in Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, with the Von Lankins, and um, which was very, very, very educational. Um, I learned a lot. I, I, I really enjoyed the experience of wedding videography. So finally, um, towards the late 2009, uh, we changed out our equipment again and um, went HD. And um, that was really, really, really made a big difference. Um, didn't shoot very much on, on that because in 2011, um, one of my coworkers in the broadcasting world had um, mentioned that there was a job opening in Tulsa, Oklahoma that I would be interested in. And so I'm like, okay, well, I went for the interview and I, I took the job because I mean, at that point, it was two times the pay and of what I was making originally. And I was glad I took the, took the gig. So um, took the gig, but unfortunately the uh, job was weekends. So, and then there was three months out of the year that I couldn't take off. May was one of them and um, February and November were the other two months. So it kind of sucked because May, you know, there, a lot of times people are getting married in May, maybe not as much as, as maybe June or July, but I couldn't take off in May. Well, 
because of ratings period at the time. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. But then I got off of weekends and then um, while I was in Tulsa. So I said, well, I really want to get back into the into into this. Well, um, I wasn't really getting any leads or anything. A lot of people didn't know me who didn't know me in Tulsa. So finally, um, I went to Craigslist one day, and there was a gentleman in Tulsa named Daniel Murphy uh, from Tulsa Event Video, and he was um, needing a second shooter at the time. So I answered, and he answered back, and then we met for coffee one day, and. Um, so now I'm, I do a lot of second shooting with him. Uh, not as much now since I'm in Purcell now and he's in Tulsa, but, um, if he has a wedding in Oklahoma city area or in the Metro, I'm um, usually the first one he calls. There's been a couple that I've missed because I was not available. So that kind of made it a, a little bit of a bummer that I couldn't, couldn't shoot for him that day, but you know, that just the way it is. So um, anyway, um, got back into the gig and in, into it. I missed it. I had fun, and so I I said the one thing that I wanted to do when I told my wife when we moved to Purcell, or at least when I finally moved to Purcell because she moved here before I did because she took got a nice job in Purcell and um, I wasn't able to go yet because I didn't have a job lined up for me. At that point, there wasn't anything open for me at Griffin Communications because I work at Channel Nine in Oklahoma City, where I worked at Channel Six in Tulsa. But uh, Channel uh, 9 did not have anything open for me at the time. So I was actually was just going to just quit my job because I was ready to move down and be with my wife again. And um, finally, um, I said, well, maybe I should just try to do the business and focus on it and just not have a job and see what happens. Well, well, lo and behold, uh, something did come up in that Channel 9, and so I was able to work right in. But I still really wanted to get my business going again. So finally, um, got moved here and I started doing Facebook ads and stuff like that and haven't really had much of a return. I get people to like the page and stuff like that, but I'm not really getting much of a return. So this year we decided, well, um, I'm not, I really good. I'm not really good at marketing and I'll be the first one to admit that. But um, we finally decided, well, let's do a bridal show because I um, I checked out Craig Adams' uh, wedding film school about folks that move from one city to another and try how to get their name out. And he suggested do a bridal show, but he suggested a big bridal show. So we have one coming up here on in January, OK Bride in Oklahoma City. They're actually based out of Bethany, Oklahoma, but um, they're doing one at the Oklahoma State Fairgrounds in, in one of the uh, buildings out there. So um, we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. There's several other videographers out there. I mean, even if we don't get a booking, at least I wanna you know, at least connect out there with a bunch of folks. And that's what we hope to do at, the, at this thing. I hope you liked this video. Uh, feel free to comment and or like this uh, video below. Also, don't forget to, to, to subscribe. Hopefully the next video will be better and I'll be more comfortable and we'll have some more to share with you on what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to do these once a week. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this and we'll have many more to come. Thank you very much.